Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you colors or working with colors in Reaper. Now, at first look, if you create a bunch of tracks, like I did over here, I created eight of them, Reaper is pretty gray looking. There's not a lot of color to it, but we can change that or customize it to make it easier to work with tracks as we can more easily see what's on each track. If we choose customized colors for different things, we can work a lot quicker in Reaper. So let's add some colors to our tracks. Let's select them all by holding down Shift. Let's go up to the track menu. And if we go down here to track color, over here we can choose a custom color for our tracks. But let's not go to this one yet. Let's check out these other options. One of them is to set our tracks to random colors. This is a good option if you don't really care what color Reaper chooses, you just want them to all be different so that they'll stand out and be more colorful. So if we choose this, all of our tracks have a different color and it's completely random. So we can select them again, go down here again and choose it. And now we get different colors, but it still makes each track stand out as being different from the one next to it but we can get more specific with that. Let's select them again, go to the same menu, but this time we'll choose this, set tracks to one random color. This is very useful if you want to separate a group of tracks, but again, you don't care what color you choose. Let's go back and let's pretend these first four tracks were drums. We want to make them all the same color, but we don't really care which color, as long as it's the same. So we go to the same menu over here, or we can right click any of the tracks and go down here to track color and choose set tracks to one random color. That's gonna make all those tracks the same color, but the color that's chosen is random. In this case, now they're all green. But again, they stand out or look different from all the other tracks, but they look the same as each other. So it's a good use for grouping tracks. And if we want to put the tracks back to the default, we can select them all. Let's right click over here, go to track color and choose the last option, set tracks to default color. And that puts them back to where they started, back to Reaper's default. But now let's get into customizing specific colors for specific tracks. Once again, in my example, Let's pretend these first four tracks are drums. Let's go to that menu, track color, and let's choose this option, set tracks to custom color. If we choose that, this opens up where we can choose a color just for those selected tracks. So let's choose green, make it a bit darker, and those are our drums. So now they look like this. Let's pretend this track is a bass. We'll do the same thing. Let's right click it and choose it from here. In fact, let's create a keystroke so we don't have to choose a menu each time. Let's go to our actions, type in track color, and right over here, we have set to custom color. Let's make this the letter C. Now we can just type that keystroke to open up that dialog. So we'll select our bass track, hit C. Let's make this blue. Let's pretend these two tracks are our guitars. Hit the keystroke. Let's make these red. Again, you can choose your own colors. This is just my preference. And then finally for our vocal, we'll make it orange. Right over here. And now each track stands out based on that color. These are our drums, this is the bass, these are our guitars, and this is the vocal. So if you choose those colors for you, you can navigate through your project a lot quicker, especially if you have a lot of tracks. Now, if we want to record some audio or MIDI, by default, the colors we choose here are going to be applied to the items. 
So let's record some audio. Select the tracks, put them into record. Let's record a little bit. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And like I said, by default, all of the items are going to match the track that they're on. These are green, blue, red, and orange, based on the track color that we already chose. But we don't have to stick with that. If you wanted to separate, say, the section over here, let's split it by typing S. Let's do it over here. And let's say I wanted to make all these items a different color. We could select them all by holding down Shift. And this time, go to the item menu and go down to here, item and take colors, which is different from track colors. And we can do the same thing over here. Custom colors, random colors, one random color, or back to the default. Let's change them to a custom color. Let's choose magenta. Now all those items that were selected are now magenta. So they stand out compared to the other items that are on the track. Or we can make them random. This time we'll right click. Or we can put them back to the default right here. So over here changes the color of our items. But down over here, we can change the color of our takes. Let's say we're recording takes in the section right here. Let's make it a time selection. And let's punch in on this track and do some loop recording, which is going to create takes on each loop. So now to see each take, type T. This one's green. This one's blue. This one's purple. And we can see them all separately by showing all takes in lanes. And we can see each take has a different color. And that happens by default. But we can change each take based on our own preference. This one's blue. Let's right click it, go to items and take colors, and change the take color over here. Let's make this one orange. And now this take is orange. Well, this one is still green. This one's still purple. This one's still taupe and pink and a brighter pink. So we can change our colors based on tracks, based on items, and also based on takes. Now a nice little trick, if we select this to be our keeper, let's crop it under takes, crop to active take. When you do that, sometimes you wind up with multicolored tracks. If you don't want that, just select them all, right click, Go to item takes and colors and choose the option down here. Set all takes of selected items to default color. Then they're going to go back to the color of the track. If you prefer more of that typical behavior that gets messed up when you're using takes. Now, besides items, takes, and tracks, we could also add colors to markers and regions. If we go up here, type M. That created a marker right there. Let's put another one here, another one here. But by default, they're all red. If you want them to stand out based on their color, we could just double click them. And over here, we can set that color. Let's make this one yellow. Double click it. Let's make this one blue. Let's make this one green. So they stand out separately from each other. Maybe a yellow markers are for verses, the blue markers are for choruses, the green marker could be for your bridge, and you can quickly see which marker does what. And we can do the same thing with regions. If we select from here to here and create a region, let's right click, create region from selection, by default, it's gray. Let's make another one over here. Shift R. And do another one over here. Shift R. All these regions are the same color. And again, they're different parts. Maybe this is the verse, chorus, and the bridge. 
Like the markers, we can change their colors. So to right-click this one, edit the region, set color, and let's make this one yellow. Let's make this one blue. And this one green. So again, just like with the markers, our regions can stand out based on that color. And we can change that color even quicker using this window right here. Under View, the Region Marker Manager. If we choose this, we can see our regions right here. Change the color by clicking it. Make this one blue. Make this one green. This one orange. And just like that, we can change the color of each of our regions that quickly. And we can do the same thing for our markers. Let's choose them here. Change this one to red. Maybe this one to green. And this one to blue. And now we changed our marker colors right from this window. And we can do the same thing with our tracks. If we go to the track manager right here, we can see all our tracks right here. So I could select all of our drums, click this right here, and change the drum color, something different. Maybe this one, change the bass, maybe a little lighter, and the guitars, just select them both, click it here, and change the color of the guitars that easily. So that's pretty much it. That's colors, or using colors, in Reaper. We can use them on tracks, items, takes, and even our markers and our regions. So we can navigate around our project or recognize our tracks that much quicker. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.